and welcome to another episode of GSC at Home. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be talking to you about constellations. And because I love to make things, we're also going to be making a stelloscope so we can see constellations whenever we like. Now, what is a constellation? A constellation is a group of stars that form a recognizable shape in our nighttime sky. You might know some of these already. Pisces, Virgo, Taurus. These are some of the constellations that form our signs of the zodiac. But they are not the only constellations in our nighttime sky. There are 88 constellations altogether, and from Scotland we can see 56 of them throughout the year. We can't see all of them though, because our planet blocks the view of some of those stars. So if you want to see all of the constellations, you would also need to go down to the southern hemisphere. Now, our constellations are quite old. Our ancient Greeks and ancient Romans used to look up into the sky and play dot to dot, and they would draw these pictures, these characters in the nighttime sky, and they would even come up with stories to go along with them as well. My favorite is about Scorpio. The ancient Greeks tell the story of jealousy between Orion and Apollo. Apollo asked the Earth Mother to teach Orion a lesson by setting a scorpion on him to bite him. So Earth Mother put a scorpion up into the sky. And although Orion was a giant hunter, he was very afraid of the scorpion, so ran away. And that's why when the scorpion or Scorpio rises in the east, Orion sets in the west. So we'll never see the two in the sky together. Now, the Greeks and Romans were not the only ones to look up into the sky and play dot to dot. All over the world, people look up into the sky. Down in New Zealand, the Māori people look up and see Scorpio as well, but they don't recognize a scorpion. They actually see a fish hook. The fish hook of the demigod Maui, who used his fish hook to fish up the North Island of New Zealand. Isn't that pretty cool? So constellations are stars that we have grouped together, but they are not grouped together out in space. They may not even be close to each other. When we look at constellations from here on Earth, they look flat, they look two dimensional. But in fact, the stars are spread out in all directions, including their distance from Earth. If we take the constellation of Orion as an example, Astronomers know that the stars in Orion differ in their distance from Earth. Between 250 light years and over 1300 light years away. In the top right of Orion, we refer to it as his shoulder, Bellatrix is 250 light years away from Earth. And down at the bottom, Rigel, the bottom right, Orion's foot, well, that is over 860 light years away. So when we look at Orion from here on Earth, it looks like that giant hunter in the sky. But if we went away from Earth, light years away from Earth, we wouldn't see Orion at all. We would see a completely different shape in the sky. So now that we know what constellations are, let's get started making our telescope. Now we are going to need a few things for this. First up, we're going to need a cardboard tube. Toilet roll or kitchen roll is perfect. Anything that you can see through both sides. Next up, you will need some paper as well. Black, white, red, purple, anything that you have at home is useful. And if you don't have any cardboard tubes, you can use this by rolling it up and making a tube. You're also going to need something sharp. I have a pin here. You can use a sharp pencil or a drawing pin and also some scissors. Now both of these are sharp. So if you are one of our younger viewers, please do make sure that an adult helps you. You will also need some sellotape and of course, some decorations. Right, I think that's everything. Let's get started. You are going to take your paper, you are going to take your tube and put it 
on the piece of paper. Then we're going to get a pencil and we're going to draw around our tube. So we have a circle on it, just like that. Next up, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut in towards the circle several times. And yeah, like this. So then it looks a little bit like this that you can fold in and have a little cap like this. Because what we're going to do next is we're going to put our cap on the end of our cardboard tube, just like this. And this is where our sellotape comes in because we're going to sellotape around the paper so it stays on our cardboard tube. Now, if you manage to do it carefully, you will find that you can take the cap off and you can put it back on, meaning you can make several different constellations. Next up, we're going to need that sharp object, the needle or the drawing pin or the sharp pencil. You're going to put this down on a nice solid surface like your kitchen table and you're going to use your pin and push it through the paper to make holes in the top. Now we have some little printouts on GSC at home to help you with this or you can find your own images at home and use them. Just remember though you will need to put the constellations on the end of the stylescope backwards so that when you shine the light through it comes out the correct way around. And there you have it, your stylescope is done. You can use it by looking through and at a light source or you can shine a torch in the end and shine it onto a wall or a ceiling. And here we have the finished product. You can look through the end of your stylescope towards a light source and see the constellation that you have made. Or if you like, you can shine a torch through the end of your stylescope and project the constellation onto a wall or a ceiling. Can you guess which constellation I have made with my stylescope? There we have it. We have learned all about constellations, groups of stars in our night sky that form recognisable shapes. We've made our own stylescopes so we can see these constellations in our very own homes. And hopefully we've learned a little bit more about stars themselves. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun and we'll see you again next time for GSC at Home.